everybody, I'm here for a video. You can see I have lots of different uh, items on my table. Ooh, see, um, what we have here is a video on how to make an insert for your traveler's notebook out of Tomoe River paper. First thing is you can buy Tomoe River paper in a couple of different weights uh, from a few different places. What I have here is white Tomoe River paper and cream. And you can see how this one says white. And this is the 52 GSM. And then this is the cream 52 GSM. Um, and I did do some research. And the three places where you can get Tomoe River paper, pretty reasonable, are Amazon, Jet Pens, and Goulet Pens. I bought mine from Jet Pens. Um, and it can come in a couple of different types. As you saw, I had this right here is white, 5mm dot grid, 5mm dot grid, and these are A4. White, white, white. And then these, let's see what I have here. Uh, these is cream with dot grid, dot grid, dot grid. Ah, in here. This is blank. So you can also get the white in blank. And they range in price. I think the cheapest place for some of them was Amazon $12.25, but Amazon had a wide variety of prices, and you can get it in the 52 GSM or the 68 GSM. So it ranged anywhere from $12.25 to $19.50. The most consistent price was jet pens. You could get the blank or you could get the dot grid uh, for $12.50 for the 100 pack in the 52 GSM, and then the 68 GSM, 50 sheets, for $14.25. And Goulet Pens, all of theirs was $14.95. And for those of you that like ring planners, um, instead of getting the A4 size, you can also get it in A5 size, where it's already, you know, it's basically A4 cut in half, and all you have to do is hole punch it, and it's perfect for your notes section. And those were $7.50 at Jet Pens and $7.95 at uh, Goulet Pens. So one thing to note, is if you get the dot grid, here you can see the dot grid. The dot grid at the bottom will say Tomoe River. Um, and the dot grid is only dot on one side, but because the paper is so thin, when you have the piece of paper folded, you can see the dots through it, if that makes sense. So, there's some items you need. First thing you're gonna need is the paper, the Tomoe River paper. Um, another thing you're going to need is some sort of a cover, and this is just 12 by 12 scrap of paper that I used. Um, you're you're going to need a bone folder or something to help fold a crease. You're going to need a metal ruler or a metal lined ruler. Um, maybe a box cutter. I think a rotary cutter works really well. I actually cut mine with my heavy-duty, you know, fancy trimmer. Um, and then you're gonna need some sort of a stapler. And the two that I have, this one right here, this is a Bostitch uh, saddle stapler. You can see it looks like this. So it's very easy for, um, you know, finding the center of your notebook. Or, you can use one of these. This is a long arm stapler, and then you can set this wherever you need. I don't use this anymore. I just keep it as a backup in case something happens to my saddle stitch. And also, if you want to, you can get these Rhodia dot, dot pads, dot grid. And one thing that's nice is it is the dot grid on both sides. It's a little bit thicker of the paper. Or you can get the blank from Rhodia, and it's beautiful paper. Uh, the Rhodia, it's wonderful for fountain pens, um, and I like to make inserts out of these for myself as well. This is how I make my inserts. First thing I do is I determine, you know, you know how many pieces of paper I'm gonna use. Um, what I decided to do for 
these inserts. So this is a Tomoe River. It's the white and it is the dot grid. I took um, 30 pieces of paper, like actual 30 sheets of paper, which when you quadruple that 30, 60, 90, 120. So this has 120 pages. So that is going to last me quite a long time. Um, let's see. So what I have here, I have some already folded. And the simplest way to do this is determine, you know, since this is dot on one side, grid on the other, uh, or I'm sorry, blank on the other, determine how you want to fold it. Let's see, and I'm going to line it up. I fold mine in half. Now this is where your bone folder comes in handy to really make sure that you get a nice crease and then stack everything together. This one actually might be more than that. Um, this is a piece of scrapbook paper that was originally 12 by 12, but I used my Fisker's cutter, and this is something you don't need, um, but I used it because I have it and because it's easier to remove this. So what you end up having is paper that is 12 inches this way by eight and a quarter. I cut it the, the, the same width as this. So what I do then is fold this in half. And again, use your bone folder. And then I put them together. And what I do is I take my saddle stapler and I find the center and what I do since I actually cut this a little bit wider or a little bit longer is try to align everything up I might have bumped you or you might have seen my head sorry about that Let's do that. And this is why, since I make inserts, this is the best stapler for the job. Because you can see how it's right on the edge and it's perfectly in the center. And so you see I cut it just a little bit tall. So eventually what I will do, what you do is, this is a Tim Holtz ruler that has all of the marking that you can see through, and, but it has a metal edge. You need some sort of a metal ruler so you don't cut over the plastic edge. And what you do is measure however wide you need it. If you're making an A5 insert, this is A5 already. If you want to, you can clean up you know, the edges a little bit. Be careful with your hands and, and then clean up the edges here. But always make sure you're using a metal ruler. And if you have one of those cutting gloves, one of those, um, you know, special gloves for in the kitchen, those are perfect to use. Um, so you would, since this one is already the right size, what you would do is you would cut this portion off, and what ends up happening is you have this right here that is waste. Well, I don't think it's waste, but it's, um, you know, you've got some cute scraps that you can use in your journal 
just so I save those and use them in my journaling. But then what I sometimes do with these, since this is the Tumaway River paper, again, you can see one side is blank, the other side has dots. What you can do with these is turn them into um, little, you could fold them in half if you wanted to. This is something that I do. And have a little scratch pad or something that I also will do is I'll get one of my pens out and I'll turn this into a grocery list. And then, you know, I'll write, um, you know, the things that we need, toilet, tissue, um, napkins, lettuce. So it can become a, so you're not wasting these. So it's a quick little, and actually those are things that we need to get. Um, so I will save this one. So that's kind of the quick <laughs> way of, um, you know, making your own insert using the Tomoe River paper. And one of the reasons why, um, you know, everyone loves the Tomoe River paper um, because it's great with watercolors, it's great with art, it's good with pens. Um, you know, I mean, that's 120 pages and look how thin that is. This is the Rhodia paper. And um, I want to say that's maybe like 15 or 16 sheets. It's much thicker paper than the Tomoe River. So that's one thing that's wonderful about this. So I don't know if this was a good video or not, um, but what I will do is I will link down below. I will keep a, a list of all of the things that you might need for making your own Tomoe River paper insert. and. One of the reasons why I made this is, this is my Olive Traveler's Notebook, and I wanted to take this insert out, and I needed to put this in my Peaky Dory Design in, in uh, Traveler's Notebook, so I could take notes. So, I've got a nice Tomoe River insert that has these cute Matryoshka dolls. Yep. So, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And one thing that I'm also going to do is I will link Ray Blake made a wonderful video, um, and it's amazing. He talks about the same things, but it's much longer uh, video than mine. It's probably like a good. 20 to 35 minutes. So I will link that so you have another resource at your fingertips to learn how to make your own Tomoe River paper insert or Rhodia insert. And you can then use this with your favorite paper. You know, say you like that, everyone likes that, um, what is it, HP 24, 28 pound paper that, um, whatever that paper is, I can't remember, or there's a hammer mill that a lot of people love, you know, you can, you know, make your own inserts, um, dot grid, grid, whatever you like. But, you know, for those of you that specifically want a Tumaway River paper insert, um, you know, you can DIY them yourselves. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.